All right, here goes. I'm gonna put my foot in it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're just gonna get right into it. Today, we are testing out a bunch of weird things again. I did a video similar to this about a month ago and a lot of you seemed to really like it. So today, we are bringing it back. We're testing out a bunch of weird things. Nose stuff, eyebrow stuff, face stuff, feet stuff, just just a lot of weird things today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos, if you want me to keep Camp, camp. If you want me to keep testing weird things on my face, my hair, my body, just all over. And if you have any weird, crazy product suggestions that you want me to try, let me know down in the comment section. So I think that's pretty much it for this intro. I'm gonna stop talking now because a lot of you have been complaining that my intros are getting too long, they're getting too ridiculous. So I'm gonna stop talking. Without further ado, here's the video. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> all right, we are ready. Removed all of my makeup. So we're, we're just gonna get right into it. The first thing we're gonna try Try is this guy right here. This is the Smooth BB Foot Peeling Mask. And I think that's the only thing that's in English. The rest is in, I think, Japanese. But there is these little photos right here that kind of gives me an idea of how to use it. I purchased this off of an Asian store and the girl told me that it's supposed to remove all of the dead skin off of your feet, which excites me very much because you guys know I love, I love peeling things. I love anything that peels. So, I'm excited. Ooh. 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 It looks like a bib. It feels very soft. It feels kind of like a glove of some sort. The outer part is dry, the inside is wet. And then over here, it has these tabs. And I think we're supposed to cut it in the middle. Can we just rip it? Can we just rip? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let's grab a scissor. So we're just gonna cut this in half. I think we're supposed to open this part right here, I think. It says open right here, but I'm not really sure what to open and I really hope I'm not messing this up because I only bought one of these and I hope I don't mess it up. All right, 10 minutes later, I figured it out. So it's, oh, ooh. Oh, ooh, that smells very, it smells like alcohol. Ooh, that doesn't smell good. All right, here goes. I'm gonna put my foot in it. Ooh. Oh, it feels very cold in there. Ooh, that feels good though, not gonna lie. It feels really good. <laughs> so here, <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so weird. <laughs> so here is what it looks like. It's all wrapped up in there and I think I'm only going to do my right foot because I just realized that I'm supposed to leave it on for 90 minutes and we, we don't have time for 90 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna wait till the end of the video to reveal to you guys if my foot does feel like a baby's bottom, you know? So while we wait for my right foot to marinate, we are moving on to the next product. And the next product I have been wanting to try for a really long time now and I couldn't get my hands on it. And finally, I found them and it's these guys right here. I'm sure you are all familiar because I feel like there's so many videos on them already. But in case you've never heard of these, these are the Tint My Brows Gel by Etude House. Basically, these are the tattoo gels that are really popular right now and I'm super excited to try these out because again we get to peel things basically um, is there instructions on these so there is English instructions on here it says apply a liberal amount to remove the pack easily dry for at least two hours we, we, we're not gonna do two hours. Do not use cleaning product or force on the eyebrow area within 24 hours after using this product this seems dangerous. This seems, this actually does not feel, I don't feel, I don't feel good about this. And also we're gonna break the rules. I'm not gonna leave this on for two hours. We're just gonna see how it goes. So here is what it looks like outside the box. It looks pretty friendly. Ooh, oh, ooh, look at that. That is very dark. Oh, it smells good. Oh my gosh. That smells amazing. <laughs> Like I can't smell anything. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Arnold's like, you don't smell anything. I do, but it's not like for me. It's like not. Oh, it smells so good though. I don't. It's think like lotion. It smells like lotion. Yeah, like perfume, right? I was expecting my mind to be blown. I oh guess. wow. Oh. I'm really hoping this doesn't mess up my actual eyebrows because I really love my eyebrows right now. So. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna do don't, don't make noises. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, that looks kind of crazy. I'm gonna put a little bit more to fill in just these little sparse area, and then I'll be done and move on to my next brow. I'm actually kind of afraid. I kind of just want to stop here, but we'll do the <laughs> other eyebrow as well. So I think I'm just gonna let them dry for now, and as soon as I can peel them off, we're gonna peel them right off. We're not gonna wait two hours, because that's, that's, that's way too long. So while we wait for the eyebrows, let's move on to the next weird product. We have the Mogong, Mogong Tox. It's a soda bubble sheet. It looks like this. It's basically a half, a black half mask, and it's gonna cover up this part of our face, which is cool because it's not gonna get near our eyebrows, our beautiful eyebrows. But it's supposed to bubble up like a, sh a soda. A soda. It's supposed to bubble up like a soda and apparently it's gonna remove all of our blackheads and again It's all in Japanese, but there are little photos right here. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. It smells like shampoo Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, That is very very gooey. It's a very ooh that I feel like it's foaming up already. I haven't even put it on my face yet and it's already foaming up. I'm just gonna go for it. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, mm. oh this feels good. It feels very soft, very just moisturizing. Ooh, it's definitely bubbling up really, really fast. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I hear like some sort of fizzing. It's very subtle, but I can definitely hear it. All right, so I've had it on my face for about eight minutes now and it's definitely all bubbled up and I'm not sure if this is part of the process, but it's starting to itch to the point where I, I just have to remove it off of my face because, oh, wait, wait, it's falling, it's falling, I can't talk. Oh, there it is. <sighs> for some reason, it's starting to itch and I just can't take it anymore. I'm supposed to leave it on for about 10 minutes, but I'm, I'm just gonna remove it right now. Ooh, that feels good. I don't know why it was starting to get itchy. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously right now. I'm gonna go wash my face first. All right, so we are back. I removed it off of my face. I'm not really sure why it started to get uncomfortable towards the end. It started to get really itchy. As far as smoothness goes, my face feels very smooth. I'm not really sure about the blackheads. I can still see my blackheads right over here. So I'm not really sure if it lifted it. Overall, I don't think I'd use it again because it did start it to itch and I'm just... I'm kind of afraid I might break out into hives tomorrow, so that's definitely terrifying. All right, so the next weird thing we are trying is this guy right here. This is called the HDE Nose Up Lifting Shaping Beauty Clip. So it says, use this to help shape and lift your nose without the need of expensive plastic surgery. Use this approximately 15 minutes a day. Perfect your facial structure and complexion without expensive facial surgery. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. All you have to do is clip your nose with it right here. Oh, ooh, that, that is uncomfortable and I can't breathe through my nose. Hi, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've had it on for about 10 minutes now and overall, it's not terrible, but it is discomforting because there is something that's clipping your nose and you can't really breathe through your nose. But honestly, I can't see myself doing this on an everyday basis. If I really wanted a new nose without going under surgery, I would just rather contour my nose with a bronzer or something because this is this is uncomfortable for me. I, I won't be able to do this every day. This feels like a scheme to me. I don't think this can actually change the shape of your nose. I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have used this or if you know anyone who's used it and it actually changed the shape of their nose. All right, so now let's get back to the brows. They are definitely very dry. I think we can peel them off now. I'm gonna start off with this side. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is really in there. I am very afraid. Ooh, as you guys can see that, we are peeling it. Oh my gosh, I mean, ooh, actually, it's not that painful. It's not painful at all. Can you guys see that? Ooh, oh wow. So it definitely tinted my brows. I really like how subtle it is. It's not too crazy. I was really worried that it was gonna be too dark for my liking. This is coming off very smoothly. I was very scared I was gonna lose 
my eyebrows. Okay, I'm having a hard, ooh, ah, oh my gosh. I had a harder time removing this side. I really like how they came out. They're very natural looking. Again, I thought they were gonna be way too dark. Also, I think the longer you leave it on, the more darker it'll get. So it's really just personal preference. If you want it darker, then leave it on for a long time. But if you want it lighter, don't leave it on for a long time. Yes, big thumbs up to this product. I really thought this entire video was gonna be a fail and I was going to end up not liking anything but I really enjoyed doing this I'm definitely going to try this again I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Arnold try this later on Shh, don't tell him. all right so now it is time to check on my foot I've had it on for about an hour now I'm not gonna show you guys the entire thing because I think feet are gross and I don't want to show that in front of the camera so I'm just gonna I guess explain to you guys what it looks like Ooh. Actually, there's no peeling involved, you guys. It definitely feels soft. <laughs> my, my toe is right there. I thought I was gonna peel something. There's definitely nothing to peel. However, my foot does feel very smooth. It feels very soft and moisturized, so that's a good thing. I would definitely use it again because my foot feels amazing, but I'm giving it like a yay, nay review because... I didn't get to peel anything. I want to peel something. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Question of the day for you guys. What's the weirdest product you've tried and what happened? Let me know down in the comment section because I'm very curious. I'm going to read through your comments and stalk you guys on there. Be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video. And that is officially it for this video. I love you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Mwah. <laughs> oh, that that's not attractive. No. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is a very typical morning thing.